Hi, in this video, I will show you how to migrate Dynamic Combat project into a different project. So in this case, I'll be using a third person project template, which is on the left side. And on the right side, I have a Dynamic Combat system bundle pack. So it has all modules merged. And I'm on Dynamic Combat, uh, I mean, I'm on uh, Unreal Engine 5.2 version. Okay, so first thing we have to do is to copy this whole folder, uh, including all files of Dynamic Combat System. So let's open in it Explorer. And let's paste it in here. It may take a while. Okay, when it's done, we have to open Project Settings. And since Dynamic Combat System relies on gameplay tags, so we have to add all gameplay tags used uh, by DCS in new project. Okay, bundle pack won't, ne won't be needed anymore, so I can maximize third pers person project. And let's add, let's add all uh, gameplay tag tables. So we can do it uh, with this array. Let's add a few of them. And if, it if you type in DCS tags, you will get five uh, different data tables. We have to add all of them. So let's let's go to uh, each of them. Okay, and that's all we have to do with gameplay tags. Uh, the next thing is collision channels because Dynamic Combat System uses two different custom collision channels. One for projectiles, such as arrows, fireballs, bullets, and the other one for interactables. Uh, which could be pickup actor. So let's add interactable object channel with default response set to block. And let's also add trace channel projectile. And the naming is important, so try to not uh, misspell it. And default response should be set to ignore. And now we also need to modify collision presets to decide which presets will block projectile channel. So for example, in block all preset, we want to block projectile. It means that projectile will be able to hit uh, actor with or component with this preset. Let's also modify block all dynamic, character mesh, uh, we don't want pawn to block projectile because pawn is used by character capsules. And in this case, we want to ignore capsule and only collide with mesh. So hits will be more accurate. So for example, arrow won't get stuck on the capsule, but will hit directly the mesh of character. Okay, and of course you can modify it uh, as you wish, depends on depending on, on your collision settings. But yeah, that, that's all we have to do with collisions. Now to make sure they, they were set properly, let's open this year's library. And there we have two functions to get um, collision channels. So for example, get projected channel should return channel projector. If it doesn't, so for example, if you have something like this, then you must change it to projectile. And same with interactable object types. So if it doesn't return interactable, change it. Okay, next thing to, to check is pickup actor. Okay, this actor has collision box and this box should be, should have object type set to interactable. This way we will be able to interact with it and pick it up. Okay, and now basically we have all things set up. We only need to modify game game mode. So this project by default uses third person and game mode. So let's change default pound class to combat character, which is default player pound. 
and it might take a while to load up all the references used by this character and once it once it's done we can play the game and we should be able to control our character and basically have all the functionalities uh, instead of using this game mode we could also use uh, dcs game mode which is pretty much the same it only overrides default pawn class but additionally it has logic to create and, and load a save file so that's not much you can copy it over to your game mode if you want to use different one or if you don't want to use the saving uh, logic then you can also skip it and use completely different game mode okay the last thing we have to do is nav mesh uh, to, to allow characters walk around the map Okay, if I press P on my keyboard, uh, the nav mesh should show up. It means that it's built correctly and we can place one of the AI on the level. Okay, and that's pretty much everything. So thanks for watching.